Hey yo. Hey yo, hey yo. We back. <laughs> hey yo. What's going on? What's going on, family? Family, family. Appreciate you coming through. We still on the barefoot journey. Know what I'm saying? We working with the force. Internal force, we working with it. Hey there, shout out to the inner chief flow. Don't you know? Simone, the sensual sage, the sensual sage was happening. The sensual sage is all the rage these days. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, family? What is security? What is your definition of security? When you hear that word, what do you think of? Security. Security! Right? There's a camera over here. Is that security? Is that what you call security? Right? If there was a guard in front of this, would that be security? The feeling of safety, the feeling that you got money in the bank, is that security? What is security? I'm curious. Jot it down below. Comment down below your definition. The central sage says safety. Simone says safety. Is that security? Are we really safe? Safe from what? What are we safe from? That's all states, Dan. Are you in good hands? <laughs> We're going to take a little lesson from Laura B. Fort Gang. Gang, gang. She wrote the prosperity plan. And it's high in demand. So she wrote something on... Security. There's a chapter here called Security. And in this chapter she writes, and I'll read. This will be the source of financial security, your own determination and lack of negotiation. You are now being fueled by your vision of what's possible for you. Not by the cushion of your bank account. Having money as a cushion is fabulous and desirable, but it is not a prerequisite for taking the chances that your desired level of prosperity requires. Let your security come from you and not from any outside circumstance. One more again. Let your security come from you and not from any outside circumstance. There's one more. She says, the people that I've interviewed for this group, for this book, most of whom make millions of dollars, all said that security came from knowing they could start over if they had to. Their security did not come from their financial cushions. It came from believing in themselves. Do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that you're achieving your wealth? Do you believe that your health, above all else, is your wealth? But not just your physical health, but your emotional health and your mental health. Do you believe in yourself? And could that be said to be security? Central Sage says stability. And how are we stable? How do we find the balance? Right? When life gets a little shaky, baby. Shout out to Ralph Smart. One of my good friends, he said that part. He told me that the sad truth about most people who claim to want this thing called success is that they actually do not desire that success. But what they desire is comfort 
and security. However, the path to real success could often demand that you give up your comfort and security in order to gain rewards far greater than mere creature comfort and minor financial security. Come on, somebody. For what do we really have at the end of the day? What can it be said that you have at play? Is it the feeling of alignment when things go your way? Is it the feeling of control of having your say? Is it the feeling of being able to go out and pay to play? Or is it the feeling of being able to live just one more day? What is security, my friend? What is security to you? And I trust that you will find out as we grow through and through. For we go through what we grow through, which makes us who we are. And my friend, keep on shining like that bright star. Security. Security, my friend, security. Security! <laughs> so be secure in who you are and believe in yourself. Remember, your health is the very best wealth. For all that we have is the breath that we breathe. This could be said to be really all that you need. <laughs> and what does it mean when someone succeeds? What does it mean in the life that you lead? My friend, thank you for listening. Thank you for glistening. This has been Jerome Shaw, host of the Open Palm Podcast, motivator, <sighs> meditator, coming at you live. And thank you for the vibe. Thank you for being in the tribe. And thank you for always being willing to thrive and not just survive. Share this with somebody who needs to hear it. Check out the Open Palm Podcast link in the bio for your listening pleasure, your daily inspiration. And I'll catch you again with a brand new location and a brand new sensation, and a brand new vibration. Much love. Take care. <laughs>